Hey, what's up all my Pisces people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so I'm coming to you guys today with a general reading. This is for anybody with a Pisces placement center chart. I'll tell everybody tarot card readers I like advice. You either take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody, okay? So any cards that I use or any information about personal readings is listed in the description box below. So let's get started, okay? So I just did Sagittarius, so you guys might have Sagittarius in your chart, Okay, but I have the tenth house here, the world, so Capricorn energy. Maybe you have Capricorn in your chart. Okay, I'm also hearing like the World Wide Web, so let's see. Give me two more. Okay, I'm going to take all of this. But it's four of them. Okay, so you have the fourth house, Roots. You, or you guys have Gemini on your chart. Are you dealing with a Gemini? Because that came out for them too. So fourth house or Cancer energy. Um, Pisces, I believe. So your North Node or your South Node could be Capricorn or Cancer um, or Pisces or Virgo. Um, and then you have Neptune here, sacrifices. Okay. And then what's here? Solar eclipse revolution. Because you guys be dealing with a um, Aries because they actually got the energy too. The solar eclipse revolution. So let's see what's going on, you guys. Let's get one of these for you. The magician, okay, kind of like that. What's this at the bottom? The fool, okay. So, interesting enough, who had that energy? Was it Aquarius? Okay, so I think Aquarius pulled the fool, the magician, then the fool. Okay, so it's interesting. I like how the fool and the magician, the fool is here on the bottom, but the magician is going first, okay, and um. I'm sorry, it's just a bunch of loud ass people talking right now. So it's a cancer in here and an Aries. So those placements definitely might be significant. Okay. Or no signs. Um, but I just literally like how this is you could be Aquarius Pisces Cusper, but I kinda like the energy of this because I feel like maybe somebody took a risk and now things are kind of manifesting or manipulating in a positive way for you. So let's see what else you have going on. Just get one angel number. Okay, it says 18. I am kind hearted. Okay. It says you are both open minded and open hearted and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. So I'm definitely getting North Node energy from this. And at the bottom, look what you have. You have zero. I am limitless. So that full energy. It says there is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. So there is definitely some type of spin or some type of spirituality um, that you need to embark on. So maybe they want you to dig deeper into your spirituality. For some of you guys, um, you have inherited this spirituality or this spiritual gift. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you had to sacrifice some things lately here with this Neptune energy that um, will put you in a position to make money with uh, your spiritual gifts. Okay, because this 10th house world here, Capricorn energy, that's what that's giving me. Okay, uh, 18 or the number 9. 9 is the strongest number. It cannot be broken down, divided, reduced to anything less than 9. Okay, and it's right before 10. So, I feel like maybe there's one more step or there's one more process before you get to 10, the 10th house here. So, let's see. And then it's interesting because Neptune is number, the number 10. Okay, so let's see. Ah, 
know what? This is funny this card says the four cups not interested players, okay? So I'm actually gonna put it back. Okay. And I'm gonna pull one of these because these are some cards that I made out of um, some postcard uh album covers. And I'm gonna pull one for you guys. Oh okay, that was quick. Oh wow, Pisces. Okay, this took a turn, okay? <laughs> but you have the ASAP Rocky testing album, but it says Gang Gang here on the back. So it says Guns and Butter, Baby Boy. Y'all remember that on Baby Boy? Um, Bra Man from the Fifth Flow. It says, uh, What About Your Friends? Uh, Capricorn Energy is here again. So December 30th may be significant. December 2nd, December 20th. Um, let's see, or January 6th also might be significant for you at, at, as well. Um, but what I, what I said wow for is because at the bottom you have this YG album and it, I literally named this community dick. <laughs> okay. So, um, whew, okay. So it says, uh, it has Pisces energy on here. So somebody's birthday could be 309. Neptune is here as well. It says pussy money fan. It says, yes, I'm too cocky. My bitch broke up with me. It shot me. They say you're popping shit. Yeah, I'm paparazzi. I think that's the song called too cocky. Okay. So it says, don't take it personal. My man is your man. It's kind of giving me that scissor energy. Uh, and I also see the power of the P-U-S-S-Y. Okay. So. I'm definitely getting somebody um, that may be in a situation where somebody... Okay, let me just be 100 with you. Somebody could be dealing with somebody's friend. Or you could learn that somebody used to deal with your friend or something like that. Or somebody is out here just like dealing with a bunch of people or several people or something like that. Or somebody is getting around. You know what I'm saying? I, that's, that's what I don't like about it. Um, 1245 may be significant. If you see that clock up there, 1245 might be significant, the time. So this could be during the day or after midnight. Or somebody could be calling somebody's phone after midnight. I, I'm hearing, oh, so you want, you want a nigga with two strikes to go to jail, um, from baby boy? Ben Rains. All right. I don't know, y'all. So, try to keep it. Because it says, I'm kind-hearted. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, look. Don't make. That's why I say it's one more, you know, step that you need to go through before you hit this revolution. Okay? So, please, y'all. Don't do it, Pisces. I know your energy. You know, sometimes when I'm in y'all energy, I be hearing the fight songs. Get on my level. You could never, ever, 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 get on my level. Like, so maybe y'all telling this, telling, telling somebody this, like, like, bro, like, for real, like, like, somebody's like, my man is your man and your man. Like, bitch, you could never get on my level. You would never be on my level or something like that. I feel like y'all are just kind of like laying it on somebody really thick. You have the justice energy. Here with the tent house. Huh. I I really like y'all talking big shit. Like that's that's maybe why this community dig energy is here. Cause I definitely feel like y'all are talking shit to somebody. And it doesn't have to be romantically. It could be to a friend too. Cause it's like, what about your friends? Like somebody is like trying to like I feel like you're being kind to somebody, but now you just gotta flip the script on somebody or some shit. What's the fourth house? Ah, the sun and the will of fortune here in reverse. And they both, and actually, I'm going to take the sun for the fourth house. And I'm going to take the Pisces, uh, the, the will of fortune for the Pisces, I believe. Pisces, yeah. So, literally here, too. Like, with how the justice and the sun is out, and then the will of fortune is in reverse. Like, I feel like somebody, again, you might have to backtrack or something. You might have to go back. You might have to say something. 
or you might go back to say something, but like somebody saying like don't go backwards or something like that with Neptune sacrifice. Yeah, it's it's too many cards. Give me one. Give me one. Ace of Cups is here. So I feel like soon as you, like this is definitely some type of test, Pisces. So this could be an old friend or somebody you used to deal with or something, you know, an ex or something like that. I feel like somebody else could be trying to put you on blast on the internet or something. Can you get cups in reverse? Yeah, they don't want you to revert back to the old you. Please don't. Yeah, because I'm hearing that you you want a brother with two strikes to go to jail, right? Then yeah, like I already got two strikes. If I whoop your ass, I'm going to jail for real, because then that's gonna make me have three, right? So think things through. It says you either with me or against me. So first day out, that's Gucci Mane. So first day out. You either with me or against me or you in my way. Okay. Give me one for this day. Oh, it gave me two. I don't know what's going on with y'all. Queen of Cups is here, and then the Queen of Wands is here in reverse. Like somebody is doing something behind your back. Or somebody is trying to come at you, Pisces. You was like, what in the fuck? Like, you, I feel like you over here minding your own business and your energy. The Ace of Swords. So somebody could just blatantly lie to you. Or somebody could be, like, trying to cause these issues. Let's see. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Let me get that. The two of pentacles here, and I got the chariot here at the bottom. Uh, it's kind of giving, um, weigh your options. Don't go backwards. Don't do it, Pisces. Like, because I feel like so. I feel like the person that you present yourself to people. So Pisces could be your your um rising sign because I feel like how you present yourself is like real like. Yes, yeah, sweet, nice. People think you nice, but then in the background, like the Queen of Wands in reverse, I feel like you get real mad, pissed off, flip some shit over, and next thing you know, like some shit is on fire. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like your energy when you're mad. Like, so let's see. Let's get one of these. To wrap up the reading. I don't know, Pisces. I'm telling y'all, this fire energy is crazy. I'm not playing. Like, you might have other fire in your chart. Like, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Like, one of these signs might be your Mars sign, right? So, that's why they want you to be, like, careful. And, um, they don't want you. Like, it's okay to, like, live life and go with the flow. But this in particular, I feel like it's a test. So you might have to sacrifice your anger or sacrifice how you really feel. Because over here it says over. It's kind of like just kind of go with it. Handwriting, authenticity. Like I feel like nobody is saying don't be yourself because I feel like you are yourself. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like this could get out of control, Pisces. and Because fire, it spreads rapidly. You know what I'm saying? So definitely this could be, um, unfortunately, for some people this could be like, you know, an STD or something that you find out about that you really weren't aware of or something like that. Um, but for, for other others of you guys, um, I feel like this could be like just literally you getting so mad that where shit just pops off, okay? So I don't want you to pop off. I don't want you to do none of that, okay? So just be aware that if it comes to your friends or, you know, people, family, it could be family, friends or something like that, don't feed into that. You know what I'm saying? Be kind-hearted. Don't do all the other stuff because I feel like you might regret it later. It, it might put you, set you back some, okay? All right, you guys. So, please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know I appreciate it. So, until next time, y'all already know what it is. Holla at a play. We see you in the street, pimp. Bye.